Alright, what is going on you guys? As you guys can tell by the title, man, we are working on a 1984 Ford Mustang. It needs a lot of work. Exterior-wise, internally-wise, motor-wise. Uh, <clears throat> they got a real, really good deal on this car. Doing it for one of the homies. Customer of mine, fellow subscriber, follower. But he's in a Mustang, so we're going to bring this thing back. Basically, I've been block sanding the whole car. I'm gonna do a couple of touch-ups, man, because we are doing this this job for very, very, very cheap. So, uh, yeah, we're not gonna put a whole lot of time into it, but we're just gonna block sand it, you know what I mean? And uh, we're gonna get some paint on here. Still removing this down here. I did have to take off stickers. There was a 5.0 there, and there was a Mustang right there. I still need to hit that with the sander. So I'll be doing that shortly so I can get the rest of the car done. That's basically, I just have this bottom part. The other side has already been done. If this is you guys' first time watching, make sure you guys smash subscribe. Go ahead and give Jenny a follow on IG. The reason why you guys are not seeing my face right now is for the simple fact that I am wearing no t-shirt because it is hella hot inside the shop and I don't need y'all seeing my big ass titties. So, oops, I'm gonna have to bleep that out because we are getting monetized now. Um, yeah. Like the video, man. Share it with you guys as friends. Um, for new subscribers, old subscribers, people that just subscribed, man. Uh, I drive a 2004 Infiniti G35 Coupe. It's actually my drift show car. Uh, it's one of my builds. One of the cars I drive, I don't drive it on the street, man. So, cops, I know they're watching my channel. Uh, stop hating on me, man. Go go, go find somebody and do some real, uh, your real job, man, and find somebody doing real crime. Just stop picking on the dudes that spend their time working on their fucking cars. Damn, I'm gonna have to bleep that out too. Dang. I gotta watch out with this cussing. But yeah, man, go go pick on somebody else, man. We just trying to build our cars and have fun, man. Go find the dudes with the guns and all the drugs. Shit. You wanna pull people over for their tinted windows because it's too loud? That's crazy. Like, comment, subscribe, man. We're gonna get to finishing the rest of this car. I have the blocks down the bottom, add some more primer to it because I can still kind of see it on there. Uh, we're gonna hit it with the sander, electric sander. And then, yeah, it's pretty much ready for paint, man. I've been out here all day, probably about four hours sanding. So, it's just about ready, man. I'm not going to spend too much more time on it. But we're going to paint it a, a jet black. I'm not going to record while I'm doing it because I got a brand new phone. And I'm not trying to mess up my GoPro with all the overspray. We do have to put up the tarp that goes over here to cover up the rest of the car. I'm going to have to move the car back. So, just stay tuned for that, man. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. This is how your boy makes all his side money to build my car. This is how I get it. So, side jobs. All right, you guys. So, on the back of the car, in the back... There's actually like really deep ass scratches and I painted over with the primer and it's not going away. I told him I wasn't gonna do no body work, but this shit just bothered me. So I'm gonna fix this one little area and it won't be there no more. All right, you guys, if you see that, it's like two dimples right there, basically. You can still kind of see those. Like, even if I spray primer over it, you're still going to see it. So, that's what I'm about to do. This is the secret right here. Quick little mixture real fast on the cardboard. I'm about to use a stick. Anybody can do this shit at their house, man. It's not that hard. So, I'm going to use that. Mix it up real quick. And then I'm going to put on those two little, part, uh, little, little dimple holes. So for a little area like that, I mean, I'd literally only use like, this is a mixing stick. That's how much Bondo I used. And then that's the hardener right there. Literally just a drop. You don't need a lot. I mean, look what comes with that big ass container. And that usually goes for any Bondo. So I'm gonna mix it around, make it look like a bluish color, light blue. And then I'm gonna put it on there with the stick and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, you guys, that's what it looks like. After I sanded the damn Mustang off, I almost started painting it and I stopped. I forgot I didn't record. But I already cleaned it off with the air compressor and then I cleaned it off with the chemical. Now I'm about to spray over it and then we'll go from there. All right, you guys, so that's the rear, rear of the trunk. That's where I laid the Bondo at, those two little bumps. So I'm about to sand it real quick with the electric sander, primer over it, and then uh, let it sit. I'm gonna let the other, the other primer sit for a whole day and I'll come back out here tomorrow, finish it, pressure wash it, tape it off, spray it. All right, so I basically filled in those two little holes, sand it down, that's what it should look like, you guys. I'm basically gonna hold this paper right here. I'm not gonna tape it off. I'm just 
just gonna hold this paper right here. If I get any overspray on anything, I have a secret over there. Just spray it on the tail light. It'll come right off. I'm gonna make his tail lights look brand new. When uh, or hers, I keep saying him. I'm gonna make her tail lights look new before they pick them up. So yeah, I'm gonna do the primer real quick. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after. All right, you guys. If you see closely, you can still see the dimples. But I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. Spray another coat. Spray another coat, and then when I block sand this corner tomorrow, before right before I pressure wash it, I'm gonna hit all the spots where I primed it at. All the spots where I primed it at, I'm gonna hit it with the block sander, and then uh, we're gonna pressure wash it with the pressure washer, man. And then we're gonna let it dry off, dry it, and then uh, we're gonna hit it with the wax and tartar remover everywhere, let it dry again, and then we're gonna spray this motherfucker. And then we're gonna spray this. touch-ups I'm doing touch-ups remember I just said I was doing touch-ups but this is what it looking like right now player I already sprayed the first like couple coats of black I still got to go over it again no clear coat yet no hardener it's just black paint it's far from done but this is what it looked like right now far from done but sheesh it already looks good though can't tell me it don't Touch ups, like I said, I'm doing touch ups. Feel me? A couple touch ups over here. You know what I'm saying? Gotta do some touch ups on the hood. Little spots, but I mean, sheesh. It looks good, don't it? Alright, you guys, so I was in the middle of spraying yesterday and I called it quits for the simple fact that in some areas of the car, you just get where you actually might have missed a spot when you're cleaning it happens so i just want to show you guys what happens what the paint looks like it's like a chemical reaction that happened right here so i probably left like there's either grease or something this one puts armor roll they put armor roll on their tires and it flings up and hits the car maybe i missed that area when i was scrubbing it but that's basically what the paint looks like and there was a couple spots on the car where it looked like that so I've already addressed those, sanded it back down with the 400 grit, smoothing it out. The back bumper had some. Uh, around the door handle was a little bit. This little edge right here, top of the hood, right there, right here, on the hood. I don't know, it was like some type of grease. It was like a chemical reaction. It happens. So it's sanded and clean pretty good now. Let's hope that it doesn't do that. I'm gonna mix up some paint and basically only address. I'm not gonna spray the whole car right now. I'm only gonna do those spots just to make sure it doesn't um, do that again. And like I said, I cleaned the hell out of it and sanded it already. It was a little bit on the door handle. I just don't know why I was doing that, but the rest of the car, I mean, it's already starting to come out pretty nice. No clear coat yet a girl's car go go hit her on instagram and tell her she should paint these pink this pink because she got pink uh, things pink shifter i think it'll look clean that little front piece was pink this little vent was pink and maybe the wing was pink i don't know it's my opinion it's a girl's car so all right, you guys, so unfortunately, once I cleaned this and sanded it with the 400 grit, cleaned it off again, and then sprayed over these areas, it still was doing the same thing. It looked like spider webs right here, so I took a piece of 80 grit and basically knocked it all the way back down, all the way, because whatever was right there is inside the primer that they send over here. I didn't primer this car. It came over here. It was supposed to be ready for paint. And unfortunately, it was not ready for paint. 
because all this extra stuff that I'm doing, I shouldn't have to, but that's why I take the 80 grit. This should fix the problem. I just didn't want to do this, but I mean, I don't have a choice at this point because it's having a chemical reaction, like I said, and the paint is not laying down there good. So it's the same thing in these other spots. Actually, the bumper's probably the only one that didn't do it again. Um, if you guys are watching in the future, I would order a new bumper, maybe put a body kit or something on here if you guys plan on doing something. But this bumper is trash, garbage. I couldn't really fix it because it was fat or it's not metal and shit, and I don't have the shit to fill in all those holes or whatever. So I would just get a new one. But the same thing right here. Look, I sprayed back over it, and it's still just separated. So we're gonna take the 80 grit, and we're gonna knock this shit all the way back down. Take it all the way back off. Until we see that red. Because then we know we're going to get rid of any of the problems. I'm going to do that around the entire car. Where all those spots are at. I'm going to hit it with the 80 grid. Take it down to red. And then this should fix our problem. I'll clean it back off. And then try to blend it in the, blend in those areas before I spray the rest of the car. We'll try to get, get those to disappear. Just bear with me, guys. If you guys like watching videos like this, man, just let me know. Leave a big thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below. If you guys want to see more videos, this is how I make my money to build my car. Uh, just let me know, man, and I'll post more. I don't post a lot of these videos because I don't get a lot of views, but my subscribers are getting up there now, so um, I figured I'd bring it back into the works. Plus, I haven't been doing a lot of content on the G35 because of the state rep, but again, we'll be getting the phone call tomorrow and see what's up. I have to go order my O2 sensors today for them, so we'll go from there. Let me finish doing this, man, because I'm getting tired of this, and Sunday, I want to have a fucking weekend for myself, too. All right, so this is how it's looking right now. Those are the areas, man, we're having chemical reactions. It's pissing me off, I'm not gonna lie. And then, uh, yeah, so we basically wanna hit this area right now with the primer filler. Put my primer on there, because the primer that was on there is just not, damn, I forgot to wipe that spot down. Wipe that down real quick. And then we're gonna fill it in with this really fast. Brought this bad boy out. Like I said, the body on it wasn't straight, man. So, give me, let me get 50 likes and I'll do a video on this one. It's a 77 Riviera. I've been working on it already for like a month, but this one I'm doing all the body work. 5K for the job. So, let me know. 50 likes, man, and I'll, I'll do the video on this one. I'm spraying it. All right, you guys, this is the final look on the Mustang. Well, not the final look, because uh, the homie, uh, he's going to take it to another homie. He's going to do the cut and buff. I don't do all that. It's out of my pay grade. So I just uh, do the body work, spray, and let clear. But let me know in the comment section what y'all think. The top still is kind of hazy. And that's for the simple fact that when I sprayed the rest of the car, I'm not inside of a regular shop. Uh... I don't have all the ventilations like they do on the floor to suck all the air out. So once you cut and buff this, wet sand it and polish it, there's hella clear on here. It's gonna look like glass. But overall, man, I think it came out pretty nice. Like I said, man, it's a cheap paint job. Uh, it's not a $5,000 paint job like the other car we're doing. But I mean, it does look like a hundred times better than what it did. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be happy with it. Um, it's a project car they're working on. Pretty sure this isn't going to be their only paint job. It's probably just temporary. Um, they're probably going to want to do body work. Replace the fucking bumper, front bumper, back bumper. I would replace that. The fenders both need to be replaced because they've been cut. Just because this has uh, the Lambo doors on it. The door actually goes straight up in the air. I would do it for y'all, but I'm cool. But the, do the doors do got the butterflies on there. Drop a comment in the comment section below, man. What you guys think about the car, how to come out. Try not to get his plate in there too much, man, but it's all good, man. Till next video, man. Like, comment, subscribe. 50 likes, man, and I'll do a video on the other one. Till next time, we out. Sounds great. Jeez. <laughs> she said don't play. <laughs> all right, bro.
like, comment, subscribe. Till the next video, man. We out.